There comes a point in your life where you must encounter hard truths, often catastrophic moments, a victory you never perceived possible, a betrayal of someone you love, the loss of a place you once called home. And either by chance or some cruel design, these moments are meant to leave a mark on you so deep you remember them for the rest of your life. For at the end, when you look back at all the scars you've accumulated, you will remember the pain it took to earn them, but also the pride that none of them were the end of your story. Some brave hero decides to give their life to save the day. And because of their sacrifice, the good guys win, the survivors all cheer, and everybody lives happily ever after. But the hero never gets to see that ending. They'll never know if their sacrifice actually made a difference. They'll never know if the day was really saved. In the end, they just have to have faith. There are many types of monsters in this world. Monsters who will not show themselves and who cause trouble. Monsters who abduct children. Monsters who devour dreams. Monsters who suck blood. And monsters who always tell lies. Lying monsters are a real nuisance. They are much more cunning than other monsters. They pose as humans, even though they have no understanding of the human heart. They eat, even though they've never experienced hunger. They study, even though they have no interest in academics. They seek friendship, even though they do not know how to love. If I were to encounter such a monster, I would likely be eaten by it. Because in truth, I am that monster. Let me tell you a story, Tommy. Stay, stay still. A story of a man called Theseus. His country was in danger. And he sent himself forward into enemy line. He slayed the Minotaur and saved his city. You know what they did to him, Tommy? They exiled him. He died in disgrace. That's what happens to heroes, Tommy. But if you want to be a hero, THEN DIE LIKE ONE! I just want to go home. Um... Please can I go home? Well, it's not like they want you anyway, Tommy. What? You have two minutes of oxygen left. <sighs> can we... Change that to something more cheerful. Sure, Gary. Cookies. cookies. Act like you're baking a big batch of cookies. Gary, the cookies will be done in two minutes.